Hello, and welcome from the Oklahoma Insurance Department. My name is Rachel Fan, and I work in the Communications Division here at OID. Thank you for joining us for our Consumer Connection webinar series. Before we get started, I wanted to share a little bit about what the Oklahoma Insurance Department, or OID, does. OID is a state agency, and we are responsible for regulating the insurance market and enforcing the insurance-related laws of the state. We have an entire team devoted to protecting consumers by providing them with accurate information and timely assistance. We can also deal with your insurance company if you cannot reach an agreement regarding a claim. If you would like to reach out to us for help or if you have any questions, you can call us toll free at 1-800-522-0071. And you can also visit our website at oid.ok.gov. Now I'd like to introduce today's guest, Liana. Liana joined OID as the Community Outreach Coordinator in August of 2022 to continue her work in the communications and public relations field. She has been with the state of Oklahoma for the past eight years and is extremely passionate about helping people and connecting with underserved populations. Liana reaches out to communities across Oklahoma, utilizing her four different language skills. In her role at OID, she looks forward to meeting with diverse groups, building relationships, and educating people about the services and resources provided by OID. Liana, welcome, and thank you so much for being here today. Thanks for having me. Well, I want to just get right into it, and I would love for you to share with us why community outreach is so important. Absolutely. Community outreach is so important because you not only get to meet the consumer, but you get to build relationships with them and establish it. So we have a mission to just connect with them and just make sure they're educated about the resources we, we offer for them. So, Liana, that's wonderful that, you know, we are working towards educating the consumers and specifically Oklahomans. Um, what are some of the ways that you're wanting to connect and are there various, um, you know, populations that you're trying to reach with this? Absolutely. The minority groups are the main ones that we're trying to reach. We have met with the Hispanic community, the Asian, the Black community, and it has been well received. We have several different efforts that we have been um, approaching at the moment. We have community uh, coffee with the commissioner, lunch with the commissioner, uh, presentations all throughout Oklahoma. So it's been well received. That's great. Well, I would love to learn a little bit more about some of those specific outreach efforts that you are talking about. So could you share with us uh, some of the ways that you guys are helping specifically insurance agents and city officials and some of that outreach? Absolutely. So coffee with the commissioner. We usually do invite the agents, uh, licensed producers, um, adjusters, and we do have to organize it at either a library or a coffee shop. And we invite about 20 to 30 of them. And we just talk about operations of the department and commissioner likes to get feedback from them. So we also do chamber of commerce. We have lunches with them. And we also meet with the fire department chief to just make sure we're talking about public protection classification and make sure they're on the same page as far as public safety capabilities. And if they actually know Lois Spin, which is actually our uh, PPC person here from our office. What a great opportunity for these people to get to have that time with the commissioner to ask those questions about the hot topics that everyone is thinking on. Um, you know, how often are you guys able to get out in the community and have coffee with the commissioner? We do it at least once a month that we go to a small town and we usually spend the whole day and we do coffee with the commissioner and we do a lunch with either the Rotary Clubs, Kiwanis Club, Lions Club, it, it varies. So it also depends on demand. If anybody calls us and requests, we'll be there. That's great. I love to hear about all the different ways you guys are serving the community. And you mentioned that you have um, different opportunities other than just coffee with the commissioner. You spoke briefly about lunch opportunities. And can you share with me some of those more community-focused outreaches that you guys are doing as well? 
Absolutely. Like I said, we do have lunches with Rotary Clubs, Kiwanis, and the Lions Clubs. Usually those are a bigger group. They have 30 to 50 people, and it includes business people, includes everyone uh, within the community, and they usually come together. It's really amazing that smaller towns, they're very um, welcoming, and they really do want to learn about our department. So we do spend a quality time with them and a quality full day actually in the community on that same town. We just went to Perry and spent a full day. We're headed to Duran. So we try to do that at least once a month. That's great to hear. And it sounds like those professional organizations are really benefiting from some of the things that you guys are talking to them about and some of the questions that you're able to answer. Um, you know, now that we've learned a little bit more about the city official outreach and even the more professional organization outreach that you do in the community, I'm curious to know what's in it for the average consumer? You know, say I'm somebody who's just out in the community and I want to know more about the efforts at OID, how you can help. Share a little bit more about that. Absolutely. The main uh, mission that we try to share, especially, is with the Consumer Assistance Division. Nobody seems to know that we actually have a division just for that, just to assist the, co the consumer if they have questions regarding their policies or just the insurance questions in general. It's amazing. And the life insurance policy locator has been very popular as well. I've had people come back to me and say, hey, I actually looked it up and I found 10K. You know, the other person the other day said that they found 5K. If you're not expecting that you have a loss policy assigned to your name, it's actually really good. So we've been able to recoup over $108 million so far since this app has been created in 2016. So it's been really good to just see the people's reaction and just help them out. Yeah, that's a wonderful tool that you're able to kind of talk through and share with people. What are some of the specific um, community events that you've been able to attend? And what does it look like to have um, a booth set up or, you know, a speaking engagement at some of these more community focused areas? Absolutely. Well, the annual Hispanic luncheon has been very popular. And of course, I have a passion to help the minority communities. This is my second year so far. We've been able to reach over 500 people at that event. Uh, we have the Asian Chamber, which is an annual day of the Capitol that they have as well. It's been really well received. Senior day of the Capitol, uh, we have the State Fair was really a hit last year. And we've had over, I don't even know, 3,000 people that stopped by our booths. So just the fact that we're able to educate them and to see the smile on their faces when they actually understand what our mission is and that we're here to protect and help them and we will go to battle for them. So it, it makes my job all worth it. Yeah, it definitely sounds like a very rewarding outreach opportunity. Now, Absolutely. I know um, I mentioned you speak four different languages. Can you share what those languages are? Absolutely. Uh, Portuguese is my first language. I speak English, a broken English. <laughs> and uh, Spanish and my French is a little broken already because I haven't been able to practice, but. Hey, that's that's way more languages than I speak. So you're definitely winning there. So you, you speak all of these languages. I'm curious to know, have you ever given a presentation in one of your um, secondary languages? I have, I have given once in Spanish and we only had about five people attending that day, but I'm looking forward into just having the community to just be more comfortable with us and just knowing again and learning that we're just here to help them out and to share our resources available to them. And they're now starting to be more comfortable in, in understanding that aspect of us. Yeah, it definitely sounds like there's a great opportunity to serve some of those other communities and to get the word out that we have options other than just um, English education options. There's, like you mentioned, Spanish. And so that's great that you're able to spread awareness on what's available to the community. Absolutely. So we've kind of talked through what it looks like for you to go and visit with people, have the commissioner go out to different communities and talk through that. And I wanted to just um, go through some of our frequently asked questions and see if you might be able to give a little bit of perspective on those. 
So one of the questions that we get quite often actually is, what if I have a family member who doesn't speak English? What if they only speak Spanish? Are they still able to get help from the insurance department? A hundred percent. Not only we do offer representatives here in the office that do uh, speak Spanish as well, but our website will also translate to Spanish and to over a hundred languages actually. And even if they would like to make an appointment and come into the office in person, we do have representatives that could help with that as well. As a matter of fact, I have done that at least a handful of times when they need it. So it's amazing that we have that option for them as well. So not only can they call us and get the help that they need, but if they are really needing assistance, they can physically come in to the insurance yes. department, set that appointment and meet face to face with someone. Absolutely. That's a wonderful resource that's available. You know, another question that we get asked is what educational um, tools and resources are available through OID? You know, what if I just don't even know where to start? Is there information that I can access? Absolutely. OID.ok.gov under um, basics, insurance basics. There will be a ton of resources available to them. And also, if they do want to have a rate comparison, and we're talking about all kinds, home, homeowners, um, rental cars, and even health, there are a whole bunch of resources available to them. And also our consumer assistance. Sometimes they forget that they can just call us for random questions about insurance, or they can cannot get a hold of their agents and they do need the help right then, they can always call us. There is a division specifically for that to answer questions regarding insurance. Yeah, that's great that all of this is available and, you know, we're here to serve Oklahomans and that's the purpose of the department. So really wonderful that all of that exists so easily on the website. Um, another question that we get asked is how can I schedule a community outreach presentation? So how can I get you, Liana, or how can I get the commissioner to come and talk at my event? Absolutely. They can always call me. And they can always email me. They can call my cell phone number. I have it on my business card. I'm available to answer all of their questions. They can set up coffee or lunch with the commissioner. Um, they can actually have somebody from our department to come speak at their event. And also we can set up a booth at their event. We have done it several times, but we're just trying to push for people to understand that they can do request it whenever they see fit. That's great. Now. Do I need to have a giant event with 50 people at it in order to get you guys to come out? Or is there a size requirement that we have to adhere to? There's no size requirement. We will come out even if there's a handful of them. So the mission is just to spread awareness that we're here to help them out. So it doesn't matter. So I noticed that you spoke about several different towns and places that you guys have gone out to, and it sounds like you're willing to travel pretty much anywhere within the state of Oklahoma. Is that accurate? That is. It is accurate. We're actually headed to Durant, Oklahoma, which is about two and a half hours from the office, and we will go anywhere. As long as they want us there, we'll be willing to drive. That's amazing. I really. I'm excited that we have all of this available. It's there for the consumer and it can be set up as easily as with an email or phone call. So that is, that's great. Is there any additional information that you would like to share regarding the community outreach program that maybe we haven't covered yet today? Let's see that I'm willing to do presentations again, whether it is library community action, I have a monthly uh, presentation coming up at Community Action. So if any organization would, would like to set up a webinar, presentations, or a podcast even, anything really that they can request it through us. So I'm just willing to just let them know that we're here to serve, we're here to help, and most importantly, we're here to protect them. And again, we will go to battle for them if needed. Absolutely. And, you know, like you mentioned, we are here for you, the consumer. And so um, if you do have questions, if you do want to reach out, 
there are so many ways to get in touch with the Oklahoma Insurance Department. You can call us, you can visit our website, and you can follow us on social media. We have a lot of great information that we're posting daily. If you're just curious about learning more and seeing what we're all about, I absolutely recommend following our social media pages. Or you can also subscribe to OID News, which is our email list. Sign up for that, and you're going to be um, informed and receive emails about all of the hot topics and information on what's happening through the Oklahoma Insurance Department. Liana, I just want to thank you again for spending time with us today and talking through all of this and answering questions. So thank you so much for being here. My pleasure. Thank you for having me.